Father of all creation, Lord God omnipotent, who sees everything. Father, we want to honor you as the creator of all life. Creator of every tribe and tongue and nation. Jesus, we declare and acknowledge you as head of the body of Christ the church. May we be in complete unity so that the whole world will know that you sent Jesus and loved the world with an everlasting love. As your body, today we confess we have left our first love. We repent and choose to return to our first works. We pray that you will deliver the church in South Africa from false doctrine, from mixing godly truth with folk belief, and from witchcraft, idolatry, and sexual immorality. Please pour out your mercy upon us. As your church, we acknowledge that we still show racism towards our brothers and sisters in Christ and discontent towards believers of denominations other than our own. Please forgive us for the selfish attitude of our hearts. Teach us the way of love and compassion towards those from other church denominations and especially towards people of other races and cultures. Please forgive us our ignorance and selfishness. Grant us the grace we need to embrace our brothers and sisters in Christ with the love you have for them and for those who do not know you yet. Our gracious God and Father, we cry out to you regarding the challenges of HIV and AIDS in South Africa. We want to pray that you forgive us for not appealing louder for sex to be presented for the marriage bed and for spouses to be faithful to one another. Lord, please restore righteousness and justice as the foundation of your throne in our nation. Blot out our sin and the iniquity of sexual immorality and convict our nation to once again live according to biblical principles. Father, we pray that you would stir our leaders in the church to take up the responsibility of caring for HIV and AIDS victims. We know that you have a special place in your heart for the poor and needy. We confess that as your church, we have not defended the poor and the fatherless, and have not done justice to the afflicted and needy in every way possible. Father, we pray that you will forgive us and cleanse our nation of these sins. Forgive us for not treasuring those that you treasure. Bring justice to the poor of the people. Save the children of the needy and break in pieces the strength of the oppressor. Arise in South Africa for the oppression of the poor, the sighing of the needy, and set them in the safety for which they yearn. We also want to confess the sin of murder through having legalized abortion in our country, which has caused the deaths of thousands of babies and some of their mothers. We also want to confess the sin of having legalized same-sex marriages, which rejects your purpose for marriage to be a union between one man and one woman. Father, we pray that you would forgive us for the abomination of sexual immorality, especially sexual immorality amongst Christians, incest, molestation, rape, adultery, pornography. And Father, we want to pray that you will deliver us from all evil and strengthen us to flee all forms of sexual immorality, even that shown on our televisions. We are guilty of all these things. Please forgive us our sins and turn our hearts back to you. Violence has risen up into a rod of wickedness in our country. The violence of the wicked is destroying them because they refuse to do justice. Our nation devises violence and even the church devises violence in its heart and our lips talk of troublemaking. We humble ourselves before you and cry out to you, our God. Let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hands. May burglary, murder, rape, abuse, and kidnapping be halted. Render to us mercy and forgive us for these sins and heal our land of crime and violence. We plead this in Jesus' name. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. <laughs>